Well, hello, 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 guys. I am back to go into massive assembly mode on the cards for the cards for Cubs, right? Yes, the, um, the cards that I am making, I have finally more or less dialed it in, figured it out. So I have already cut out a whole buttload already. I'm just going to assemble one, but I've already got them almost all cut out. They're just going to show you some of the detail work. What I plan on doing is once I get them all done, I'll come back with just a quick reveal video just to show ultimately what I did. But there are always going to be a variation of what I'm going to do here now. Only because, I mean, I love this paper. As I showed you, I was going to use the paper from um, LDRS. But there was like, this one I think works perfectly the way it is, although I'm going to add something to it and you're going to see because I cannot leave well enough alone. I'm going to kind of go uh, Ryan on it from Glitter Grunge. I take my cues from him. I mean, I've just learned so much. And he's making me want to experiment. So we're going to experiment. This may or may not work great, but I think it's going to work. So I've got these card backings, and of course they're on both sides, but I wanted to make these green, uh, to use the green on these. I'm, But I want to add, like this one doesn't have very much splashy, you know, just has that one, and I, I, I want to make it busier, flat out. That's the deal. I want to make it busier. And then this one I think has enough of the green, but I wanted to add some uh, a pop to it because I am going to turn these all into shaker cards because while I need cards that I can put together quickly, we'll see how fast I can actually slam these together. If not, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of late nights. But by the same token, these ki these cards are going to kids in the foster care system, and they the whole premise is these are forgotten kids. We do not. I'm not going to on top of that just you know slam a card together. I I want to. I I need to make you know find that balance between doing something meaningful that will make them feel special and at the same time something that I can kind of get out quickly. So we'll see. Although I said a lot of this cutting I just did literally, you know, half watching TV with, with peanut gallery. And and there you go. I am not a fast crafter. That's I'm not a fast crafter and I'm and genius comes slow to me. And this genius is questionable. So let me stop yammering and let me start doing so the first thing we're gonna do literally is we're gonna add ink. So I've gotten brave in my old age and we are going to do some of that lovely smooshing that Ryan loves to do that I'm like, you know, and, and, and I've tested it out and I think it's going to work. So let me just explain. I'm going to go with Rustic Wilderness. It's a little darker than this and I played with every green I own and nothing matches it perfectly. So I'm going with a little bit of a darker shade that it, it really is almost over, not overpowering, but yeah, you'll see the difference. And, and I liked it. And, and there you go. At this point, there's six in one hand, half dozen in the other. I should have started with just blank white paper. I might have been better off, but I've already cut this all up, so we have to use it now. So we're just going to take the Distress Oxide, and I'm going to, and I don't know if I've really used this because I've had a heart, you know, other ones are juicier, and I've gotten more ink out of it. But that's kind of like what this one is doing to me. So. I'm going to do the green, but I also want to give it some sparkle. So since I have to wet it anyway, we're going to take my color. And this happens to be Prima Color Bloom I've had for a million years, kid you not. Uh, I've been not, I haven't worked at a scrapbook store in, um, Peanut Gallery and I've known each other for six years. So give or take five. And this was from before, from the, before the last store I worked at. So this is at least six years old, at least. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and use that to, you, to go ahead. And so I'm going to add a little bit of gold. So it adds the water that I need. And then I'm going to just drip it, you know, really carefully. But that, and so it let it separate for a minute or, or three. And maybe just take with my nail and squoodle it around. It might need a little bit more water. But I'm not real confident in what I am doing here. But I can always add a little bit of water too, just to, with my little, my Tim Holtz. So we're experimenting here. This is like, this would qualify for Wing It Wednesday because I am so totally winging this. I have no clue what I'm doing. But there you go. And maybe I'll add in back in some, a little bit of gold and maybe that'll get all watery. And, and there you go. This is going to be a lesson. So now what I'm going to do is kind of just tap it in. And see, now it's, I have to like, there we go. So it's kind of like doing what I want it to do. But this is what happened with my other one. Over, overpowered. I think I oversprayed. So now I have to come in from here. 
and we'll come in in the middle. And this is what I'm learning how to just, you know, go ahead and balance it. At this point, you can't even see the green in the background. So, you know, I am not going to suffer for this. I'm not going to make myself bananas, although I'm perfectly capable of that. But I, I do like that. And I still want to fill in the middle a little bit. There we go. At this point, you're not going to see any white hardly at all. And then I'm going to let it dry off. I mean, this dries, this is drying really super fast all by itself. And then what I'm going to do, you can see hopefully some of the sparkle, but in theory, this is going to work great like communism. <laughs> we'll have to see, you know, I don't know how that worked for Lennon. But I'll just go do that a little bit. And then I'm going to come back in and just smush into the gold. So that then I get some gold in here in greater quantity. So, you know, I'm being kind of like a cowardly lion because, again, I have no idea what I'm doing. But that's that looks really, really cool. And I'm going to be good with that. So we are going to smoosh in a little bit more green. I wonder if I should go in with a lighter, you know, a little bit of a lighter green. And then we're just going to add some of the gold and do it this way, kind of, you know, I don't want to like spray it, spray it. I want it to come down in, in droplets. So I'm trying to find my, 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 whoops, there we go. And that's what I was trying not to do is to do that. But still, it will might add a little bit more gold, except now I was not planning on doing that panel. <laughs> so this has so totally backfired on me already, but we can make a go of it. Hang on, because all I have to do... Well, that is still doing its thing. See, this is why you guys watch, just to see what Myra is going to do next. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut this paper in half for right now. And then I can always dial it down. But this is a piece of my Nina. So I know I can do this to Nina paper. Good, bad, or how it looks. We'll see. But we'll, we will go ahead and just smoosh, smash. It looks like a deformed Rorschach. But there we go, and I'm okay. I just want to do it all in the greens. And I wonder, there's a part of me, because that's kind of a darkish, I can come in with, let's see, how about some peeled paint? It's just, I'm just going to go right into that same little puddle. Go in with the peeled paint. Give it a little bit more gold because that's what I want. I want to see a lot of gold. Let it separate out so it texturizes a little bit. And then pick that up and see what happens. I mean, it's green, so if I end up with a puddle of, of mushy green, there you go. I don't know what I'm doing. But there you go. It's just very abstract. I'm just really just trying to use up all of this ink that I used, uh, that I put down. So, where do I want to go? I got a lot of gold in here now, so maybe layer back in some green. I'm experimenting at this point, guys. We are going to see what insanity. So, just tap that in. Maybe I should watch some more YouTube videos. What do you think? <laughs> right? I'm like, oh, I'm just a legend in my own mind. Okay, I just, oh my goodness, come on. First I can't I get too much water, and now I can't get enough water out. There we go. That'll do it. And then we'll come back in and add some more green. There we go. So we're filling up this, I just want to. I do, in this case, I do want to see white behind it, so. But I'm going to call that good. I kind of like it. I actually do. And we're just going to set that aside to dry. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe this mess up. And then all I'm going to do is lay down gold, which is what I really, I knew that's what I had to do. I just didn't have the brains to remember that that was my evil plan. Because I am nothing if not the mad scrapper. There we go. It's all the madness. Let me clean that up. Move my card out of the way. This is the lovely. See, I finally am using 
my glass mat for its intended purpose. Yay. Okay, let me grab the dirty rag. I have a dirty rag and then I have a cleaner one that I use really just to, mostly really to clean my glasses. <laughs> it's really, it's really its purpose in life. Okay, we'll put the bleachy wipe aside. And then what I want to do is lay down a puddle of gold and just kind of, there we go. That's kind of like, like what I want. Separate it out. Because now what I want to do is I wanted to add to this gold, to add gold to this, just to give it cool gold background in it. So, and I don't know if I really meant to do the middle or not, but I have some in the middle now. I'm going to add a little bit more. I just wanted that sparkle. Add that little sparkle to this background. Because it will still, it'll have, um, there we go. Let me just, there we go. And actually smoosh it off. All right. Actually, I like that. So we're going to put a little bit on that corner just because it looks lonely. It didn't get enough gold. And then we'll smoosh it off. There we go. I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to come back to this one. This is the one we did. And I'm going to add a little bit more touch of gold. Since I have, I might as well pick it up with something. And this one too, just because although it looks like it has plenty of gold, it's okay, we're gonna leave well enough alone. So now we have our backgrounds and where, I know I left it out, did I not leave it out? Did I actually put it back in the jar where it's gonna be a pill to pull back out again like I had struggled with a second ago? Yes, don't laugh at me. The peanut butter is not allowed. I will, I know where you sleep, just remember that, sir. <laughs> and how soundly you sleep. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. So we have this. So I'm going to leave those panels to dry, but I have been practicing a little bit, obviously not enough. So I already have a couple of panels to work with. I have that one and I have this one that I've been smooshing under the mat. So this one I, I got a little bit, so you can still see the original green here. But, and then this one, it, I got a little bit braver and added more. I think, I, and that's just, guys, really, uh, you, uh, and here, you know, I'm a fine one to talk to say, you need to get your confidence and just kind of go for it. So, hello, how, mu how much more confidence? I don't have any confidence whatsoever, mind you. But I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this on camera. How bad could it go? <laughs> yeah, what was I thinking? But we have these two. So I've already got, you know, 50 cards cut out, back backs. So, and I have four of them here because you know how I say, cut one, cut four. So I've got actually, literally, I think I'm going to do like four or five of each card. So right now I have these two. So these are now my backgrounds. So these are going to go straight on the card right here. So they kind of blend in, which is what I kind of wanted to leave a little bit of the white. I mean, that was my entire intent, but that's what's going to happen now. I'm going to apply these, excuse me, mm, to my card, my card base. So now I'm just going to literally try to line up these. I'm going to make this the back side, and we'll take the poofy stuff off in a second. But oh, look, now the card won't move. This is not a bad thing. And we'll just glue this little panel down. And there we go, and I really like it. I really still like this premise of it on here. Wow, I like this. The more I look at it, the more I like it, and it's not because I'm all that and a package of paper, but it just is. So I think as I move along, I will be doing probably more smooshing, hopefully doing it better. I mean, watch, you know, watch seven or eight Ryans again and see how he does it again. Because this is going straight from memory and just saying, no, I'm just going to throw myself into it. Because this is a technique that that's really all you should do is just throw yourself into it. And not, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, I have to make this perfect. No, because this is very um, kind of flowy. And that is a weak spot I have. I tend to be a little over symmetrical, a little bit of a control fiend. So doing this, ah, no, I have a hard time with it, believe it or not. Everybody else is like, ah, just do it. And I'm like, no. 
That's like, you know, jumping off the deep end of the pool when you don't have a good swimmer. This is the equivalent to the deep end of the pool. But now I've got at least two card bases done. The other two I will, they're, they're still drying. So they're nowhere near being able to do, but I'll do these two at least. You guys see how the card is ultimately going to work out. So now I need to die cut the frame that's going to fit this panel, which are these. They're going to come out. So I will die cut all four of these. So this one is the cut to the same size as this. So mind you, my card base is A2. Okay, so it's a standard A2, you know, four and a quarter by eight and five and a half. The background panel and the frame are both five and three eighths by four and one eighth, but don't worry about it. They'll be down in the description. The acetate panel is a smidgen smaller. So that's going to be five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. I have those already cut, but now we need to cut a hole in these. And after doing the first one of trying to make sure it was all symmetrical, I was like, oh no, I'm going to go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So we go back and pull out our Misty, our friend, the Misty. We are going to put, not the, not the card, we're not doing anything to the card. We're going to use, grab our background. This is the paper that we're going to cut the frame out. In this case, I grabbed my 5 sixteenths one. And I now lay this down and corner it. Like as if it were a piece of paper I was going to layer. What do I do? I grab two pieces and that's only because I don't want to go looking. I'm not sure. Oh, they're stuck right there. I can see. I forgot I put them there. This mint tape, guys, lasts a long time. I, I, I really don't have enough good things to say about, you know, scrapbook.com's mint tape. Awesome. I'm in love with this stuff. It's like, where have you been? Actually, I've seen it. I've been watching it for a while. I just, you know, didn't, was merely determined to use my washing tape. But this works so much better. So now it is centered in nothing flat. I could have done it faster had I not been talking. And now I'm going to pull stuff out of the way because now I've stacked stuff on top of the Empress. But I'm going to go ahead now and die cut these. I have the card. I'm going to put my... Now where's the other plate? No, really, where is the other plate? Where'd he go? I have hid the other plate for me. I thought I pulled them all. Hang on. Be right back. Okay, so the thing about moving things around to make space to work is that you move things and then you're not paying attention to what you're doing. And that's what happened to this plate. So I have my lovely little handy dandy sandwich. I turn on my Empress and away it goes. I'm just going to do one and then I'll do the rest. Like I've done the rest, mysteriously, they just turn up all off camera. So... That should do it because I had to, did have to add. I could have done this with the Gemini and it would do it on the first swap without half, um, without the shim, but it would also a good chance warp this. And that's really what I like the better about the Empress is maybe if I have to add the shim and I wasn't originally, I was having to give it two passes and then I realized you dork, shim it. Hello. So now if I take these out, if I take this and try to leave the tape right on the frame. But there you have it. Here is my handy dandy frame that now frames the paper. So now all I have to do is I have to, so let me, give me a second. I'm going to die cut all of the other four others and then we'll move forward. Okay, hold on. Okay, somebody tell me how am I supposed to evict this cat when he is being so cute? I had to look something up. I did find every, you know, what I was looking for, and I got it all cut out. Just put, and, him, down, just put him down, and I'll maybe try to feed him again. And, <laughs> but he's going to take a nap. And, um, and this he, is why. He just uh, threw up all his food. <laughs> right? Oh, because he wolfed it down. Okay, guys, I'm going to very Maybe sorrowfully sure. evict my, my, my beautiful little Elvis. But I thought, we haven't had a cat meal in a while. And he just came and did and did this. And he grabs my hand. He'll grab it, and there he is. It's like, <sighs> but I'm going to move the cat. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I did have a deviation there. Steve and I were talking music. And I don't even know how it was that we got on the topic of Harry Chapin. And, oh, he was asking me something about cats in the cradles and... And, and I love Harry Chapin. He, there is bar none, no greater singer or storyteller than him. And then we pulled up the song, Better Place to Be, that 
I, I knew, I, I remember, but I couldn't tell what the title was, so I had to go find it because, you know, when something gets stuck in your head? Yes, so yes, I went and YouTubed it real fast and played it for him. So now we're back on track. So now I've got four lovely cut frames ready for my cards. So I'm going to deviate. I did a bunch of these already yesterday with um, my double-sided tape, but since I am actually going to, at least two of these are going to be done immediately, I'm all cool about going with Big Mama, and I'll do, I'll come back and hold it in the other direction in a minute. So I'll go as far up the corner as I can. Although I'm thinking, I'm pretty much, I think, quite honestly, maybe better off having done it with the double sided tape because I'm struggling getting, keeping this on center because this tape moves. So this was an experiment that, in my opinion, is an epic fail. Don't do this go for, and I'll show you, I'll do the other one the way I did all the rest of them because it actually does go faster. So no, we won't do that again. But it was a nice idea. <laughs> right? It was a great idea. But there you go. Until there are, remember, there are no mistakes. They're just opportunities to be creative. And I was creative and now no. So here, I already got my pre-cut, my acetate already pre-cut and I left the, in fact, I can probably leave the tissue paper on a little bit longer so it doesn't get all scratched up. But now all I've got to do, okay, this is the other reason, because now I've got to center it and lay it all down in one whack and hope that I'm not over the edge, which I am on this side, see? So now I'm going to have to trim it. Never mind, I like the old method up better. But I think it's only because I would have then realized when I was putting tape down, or I would have realized sooner or later that now I have more acetate. So this one was one that didn't get trimmed right. So now I've got to check all the other ones. This is a solvable, this is solvable. We're just gonna take it and put the green page paper to the edge and go whomp. And now it's on the edge. But what I, the, uh, the premise is of course that I cut my acetate smaller than the frame. So now we are going to, let me just show you what I actually did in practice what the other ones is, and I need, I'm gonna use this one because I am now suddenly not spot, oh no, no, is that it? I'm not spotting my other little quilting ruler square. I'm sure it's here on my desk somewhere, buried. And so, now we have this. I'm going to grab my yarn bone folder, go just press down on it once on each end just to get it so that I can peel up now the tape, what I do is I grab my favorite, the little Sharpie pointed tweezers here. And what I'm going to do is just here and here, do this corner, peel it back a little bit. And then here, we'll just do the rest the way I normally would. And here, maybe this wasn't my most genius idea, but we're about to find out how good of an idea because this is differing from, but I wanted to try this and wait, because didn't I say that I was going to check the size? So let's check the size of this before. Yeah, this one is right up against it. So I'm going to take a moment really quick. We're going to lose. I'm going to take off a 16th. I mean, just a smidgen off of this. I mean, I have enough. I could take like an eighth of an inch off and still be good. So now I'm just going to line it up on that corner right here. Uh, all right? Yep. It doesn't even have to be straight. That's why you cut it a little bit smaller. Because even if you're crooked, you won't be able to tell from the back, from the back side, right? Right. You can't tell. And then you just pull tape by tape and press it down. And there, now we have our acetate on our frame. We have them on both frames. So now the last part is, of course, our foam tape. So I still have a nice, I need to order more. And I'm debating whether I just order more quarter inch or I go um, and buy some from, I brought a couple more rolls of Dollar Tree because I did a whole bunch of these. Or the rest of them, I used my 3M tape. So I will show you how I did it with this cutting it down because it makes it, when you're in production mode, the, the how I did it 
really helps. So if anybody needs to do, I'll show you how I did it when I made into, because I already have all of the other cards. I have about 25 already done. The frames are all assembled and ready to be applied for the cards. But I will show you how I did this quickly. So I'll just do this so much. This is pretty fast, but there is kind of sort of, I don't know if it's a faster way, but it seemed more efficient to me. Cut it there. And then we'll just come from this side because it makes me happy. And usually I come from the right, but sometimes we need to be a leftist too, you know. Come from the left. Ah. And I do the same thing with this. And, okay, I've, I've got some schmutz on it. So I've got a cat hair in there. I knew it. I spotted it. I picked, I knew, see, this is the problem when I let Elvis trespass is somewhere, somehow cat DNA finds its way into a, and I'm trying to pick it up because I know, I'm just trying to get it, I know I'm not going to get it all the way up, but if I can get it at least broken off, there we go, I think I got it, and I knew better, I should have wiped the deck because I can see, no, okay, that's the only, I think that's all the cat hair, but there's a smushy bit, I picked that up. It's a little bit of the glue, the adhesive, which is now on this, but I will clean it off in a second. I can just use that with the cloth. Now here, what I did with this, and this is your mileage may vary. You may think I'm crazy. I, not that there is any doubt of that, but there you go. What I did is ah, we, we catapulted the tweezers. That's what I did. Nope is I cut one of this, measured it, and this is a la Ryan style. And then I cut another piece this way on the inside. I want it to fall on the inside. There we go. Now, what we do, I figured it out almost almost perfectly, but not quite. What is center on these? I think I have to go this way. I just have to line it up. And they kind of make it easy with the design. I just have to find my little white X's. And my middle of my white X's is actually the, just about the middle of this tape. Okay. So I got those two, and now I have to do the same thing here. Find my white X's. Here they are. And if you start farther back, as far back as your scissors will allow you, this goes faster. Usually you can do it in two snips. And here I went off a little bit. But still, it's still wide enough that it's not gonna be noticeable. I'm just being the crazy person about being so perfectionist. And now I have them all, and now all I got to do is, if you do multiples of these, what I did when I made these is I cut five at a time. And then I would just, you know, cut them all up, and then I just went on in, a, you know, a strip applying spree. We just lay it down. This one, like, wow, I'm calling it close on that one. And now we have this one which may or may not go long. That's just skirting the edge of comfort, so I'm gonna take it back a little bit. And then all we have to do is lay, make this one fit in the middle, and just, just shy of a perfect fit. There we go. And there we go. So here are my two methods, and you may think I'm a total nut job either way, so. But mostly, if this is a handy way, if nothing else I'm sharing with you that you can take if you don't have Quarter, because the perfect thing is really just to grab your quarter inch. And I started using this because this went missing. So then I found, and I, afterwards I found it, of course, because that's the way of things. So now I have my two frames. I have my two cards. Where's the other one? Over here. 
Here is our other card. So we are now ready. Let me grab my little, our friend here, because remember, we always go around the edges of the adhesive with our powder just to make sure that our shaker bits do not stick to the sides because that's not what we want them to do. We want them to shake. This is the entire purpose of the shaker bits. We do that to this one and to this one is built. This one, I'm telling you, it's older tape. It's almost like I really don't need to do it. It is just barely sticky enough, quite frankly. But still, you know, it's a good habit to remember to do this. And then just, you know, I put a little bit on here and just because the, the, um, our confetti, our shaker bits do come with their own little static cling. So it just helps it out. And I'm going to take a moment here and tr grab my clean, the clean cloth and clean it up because there I have a lot, I've left a lot of fingerprints on that. And that one, this is the one that has the little bits of schmutz. I'm not too overly, overly like crazy. I just really don't want fingerprints because those will never, especially on the inside, I do not want to see any fingerprints on this. Everything else can be cleaned up. Fingerprints, if they're on the inside, yeah, they're there forever. There we go. It'll be a little bit of me. No. Okay. So we got, now we're ready to go ahead and point sugar bits. Let me move Big Mama out of my way. And we're going to pull out what I pulled out. So I'm pretty much going to stick to the primary colors here in this. So I'm going to use, and some of this is going to just come floating out. See, I, I know it does that but we're going to put a fairly generous amount, not a huge amount, but a generous amount. And then we'll go with the white and just, well, gosh, you almost cannot see the white. That's interesting. I do have white sequins. It, is it just me? I mean, I have to get on top of it, but you, it almost looks, it picks up the green way more than I anticipated. So give me a second. Let me locate my white sequins. We're going to add some white sequins in this. Well, I was almost giving up hope and then I found them. I knew they were on the desk somewhere, but I also knew there was a good chance they were buried. But I have here white sequins. So I'm going to go with, do I really want to go with the white white or just these? I'm going to just go with these because these are in my hand. Although no, because these match... We'll see. I just changed my mind because I am prone to do that. And we're going to add, see, I think you can see these better. So which means translates into, I'm going to, I'm going to have to buy, I think more, a lot more white sequins. Although I already with the, got these recently at one of my Hobby Lobby runs. So let me just grab this. Hopefully I don't spill the whole bag. <laughs> I like how you guys think. What chances do I stand, right? Okay. We'll put those there. And then, last but not least, the splash of gold. Add some gold sequins. And now, I don't know why I only did it to one. So now all I have to do is grab the tweezers that I like to do this with, which are on the floor somewhere. So we're going to struggle with this for a minute. Oh, no, not at all. Yay. No struggling yet. The evening is young, no, people. The evening is young. You have no idea. Oakley doakley. Okay. You know what I did? I did this wrong. I should have handled this the way I handle... So I've got to come in from on top because I have, this is the other thing I have a heck of a time lining up straight. I want it because it, it is the exact, these panels, 
And that's the other thing maybe I do. I start calling, cutting that little back panel smaller. But this went on a little crooked. I'm going to admit it. But if you think I'm going to peel that puppy up and do it again, although here I picked up, see, that's the thing about the static electricity is it gets picked up literally by the acetate. So that was my mistake. I may just, you know, hit it with the buddy. But I have my sequins now on this one. You can see the background. And as these guys loosen up a little bit, so maybe I put almost too much. But I think the part of the problem is, again, the acetate is picking up the sequence. So on that notion, hang on, because my stamp buddy, in theory, is in here, like all things theoretical in my life. Oh, look what I found. The, 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 um, that thing, which I was looking. See, this is how. I but now I have at least two simple shaker cards. Now all I need is my words or my sentiments that are going to go on top. And for that, I chose, this is why I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like it was meant to be. These are from Diamond Press and I was just looking, here it is. I have the instructions right here. So these are You Are So, and these were, I do not believe they're sold out, so I will um, link you down below to the link. But this was, I just got them from Craft Day and they're perfect. They're perfect for these cards. So I want to do, let's see what we have here. Let's start with, we have brain. I, I know the words I want to do. So I have to, so I might as well die cut them all. So we have strong. I knew I wanted to do that. Um, you know what? Beautiful would not be bad. Even though it's green, brave for sure. And then on this one, I want to use resilient. Although sweet would be cool too. But let me see. The one thing is on some of these words, I have got to make sure. Is it going to fit the card? Oh yeah. We are fine. So those are my four. And then I need to also do you are so. My evil plan, and we'll see if this works. Is to cut out the words out of the centers, the leftover green paper that I have. I could practically cut all four of them out of one sheet. Probably, if not, you know, I, yeah, I can't because I do one, two, three, and then that one going that way. So, this is one of my plan. I'm only going to do single layers. I'm not going to move them up because I think it'll, you know what I mean, um, make it more dimensional. So, I'm going to cut these out. This is going to get cut out of the mirror card I have from Tonic. And it's not going to be resilient because resilient needs a. Um, so, let's see, maybe look. I, I bet you, hang on, let's try this. I could probably get brave and strong, hopefully, out of this. And I cut this an inch and a half, so I know I probably do actually actually go. Depending on the word, I have to go bigger because it has little hanging parts. So, so there we go. I can get two out of this and these out of here. So give me a minute. I'll be right back because I'm going to die cut all of these out. Y'all know how to die cut. I don't need to show you how to do that. Hi there. Okay, so we've got these all ready. I took a moment amongst all the other things that I did. I deviated quite a bit. Um, and I wanted to show you guys, these dried up for me, so I went ahead and mounted them, so hopefully you can see how pretty, really, I, 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 for being one that hasn't a clue what she's doing, I'm pleased with how they turned out. So there's that one, and then there's this one too, which was more, I, it's just, I'm, I, it looks like a, a great big green Rorschach, I swear. But I know you guys can tell me what you see here. I, I swear I kind of see a deformed bull. I mean, there's his, his body and there's his head and these great big horns. And yeah, no. But, you know, I'm a crazy person. So, you know, there you go. It's, it's, you tell me if you guys see anything in here, okay? So anyway, I just wanted to show those to you. Anyway, just so you could see how they turned out. But we've got these guys all ready for the words. Okay, so as much as I said I wasn't going to pop out the words, I had to because... They're, they're hard though, almost, they're, they're very flimsy in these, like this, the, at, at the connections, 
they're just really, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to tear these. So they need reinforcement. So I'm just saying that I just, what I did is I just put one layer. So I just cut out, you know, one layer of white and that did it so that now they are workable. So, and I decided I'm going to do these. I, I had planned on doing them this way, but it'll be a, a mixture and I'll show you. Uh, the shorter words, I can make them into the the up and down, you know, uh, portrait style, for lack of a better word. And then this way will be landscape. So that's the cool thing is that no matter when, because of the way I did this, no matter what, it works. So now all I have to do is glue these down. So I'm going to go and do my normal puddle method and make my little puddle of glue that I can then dip those words in. It seems to work the best for me it is now you guys have seen me as much as i about writing on words i have done it recently because it just was the thing to do but when i don't have to i like to go back to my tried and true this is my preferential way of getting the glue on the back of the words and that way we get a nice you know not too thick of a line because that's sometimes what happens i squeeze too hard and then it's too thick and then you got to deal with dabbing it off and whatnot. So now, of course, I should have really planned this a little bit better. Talked a little bit less, planned a little bit more. And I want this right, but more or less pretty close to dead center. And what I didn't want to do is move it because that will smear the glue and you don't want to see it. So now I just want to take it a second and center it, schedule it. I see a dabble of glue there, but that's what I have this handy dandy little tool for is here I go I picked it up and it will bother us never more not at all so now we've got brave on brave looks like it's on straight now I'm going to go ahead and dip and I could do it almost all in one fell swoop you are so and this die set just so you know it has you are so as separate words by themselves or in this and forget it I did not want to have to do and cut out layers and glue layers and then line up three layers no i took the coward's way out i confess it just made it i mean at the point that i'm going to be making 50 of these no we are going to make it easy on ourselves but they do this i just wanted you to know that it does have the option so i've got to slide this a little bit over because i'm a little off center and there you go so now i have you are so I did it in gold. There's a part of me, but see, the problem is I think black would show better, but there's nothing black here. So, and I didn't want to do, although I may try, I could have tried it in the same green and just made the both parts of the sentiment green, but there you go. It, I did what I did. It is what it is. And there you go. So let me really quickly, I need to clean. I got, cause that puddle is almost, it would have already dried up and what I'll end up with was stuff on my in my next groove you guys have seen in a prior video that happened and then I had to deal with the little strings of glue not fun and then we have Elvis here full of mischief who has trusts I've already had to evict him at least twice three times I think now and I am missing one of these gold guys I'm fairly confident he traipsed off with it I know for a fact he traipsed off with the little tube that this little pin goes to for I heard it rattling around in the kitchen. I'm sure there was a cat doing that. It sure didn't travel by itself. So I must now go and find that little tube that that little pin goes to. Because amongst other things, it has the spare lids. So we do want that little tube back. So, okay, this should be enough. If I'm generous enough, then I should be able to do both. Because I was pushing my luck with the little guy. So we'll try not to hog it all up with this guy. So let me be a little bit more, you know, pressed down. I mean, I just need to pick up some glue. It's like I said, this doesn't have to survive the zombie apocalypse, but it should not be left in the envelope when they pull the card out, right? So here we go. This one is a little bigger, so I will be overlapping a bit onto the side of the frame. And then this is here. This is where I'm saying where it's there's parts of it that are very fragile. So it's like the word wants to take off um, its own shape. It doesn't want to lay straight. So, but that's good. So I have strong here, 
And these are just, these are again, you know, meant, you know, as in, you know, whatever that they, the, the givers, what they plan on doing with these. But I thought I would do cards that could be very encouraging other than, and in the future, I'll probably write and say, hey, do you guys need birthday cards, you know, Christmas cards. What's this, you know, what really do you want? Because they were very nonspecific in the instructions, but I'm going to go, but so I chose to do cards that, you know, that could be sent for whatever reason. So that's why I'm using, and because of course I got these, the, the, I swear that these dies came up on my radar at a perfect time. I think this is all, was all meant to be. And so there you go. I have got, so this guy's is more or less the plan for all of the cards. Let me, again, let me clean off the glue. Again, let me grab my, this, and let me clean off the glue. There we go. And then I'll show you real quick. So I've got these two done, and then I already, you know, in the putting these stuff together, I realized, oh, wait, I already, because I had the test background. Um, so I did this one. I die count amazing. So here you have, I just got carried away. That's why I told you, I go, sometimes I forget. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be doing this on camera. Duh. So here it is when you do it on the, on the landscape. So we have now three, I have two more to do. So it'll give us five of these of the green. And that's what I hope is five of each color. And I will show you if I reach over here, here I've got all of them already cut out all different ones we've got some with the different backgrounds i've already got the inks on my side here that i'm going to use to go through these so purple and then we have teal what will be interesting i think only because i am running out of time i have excuse me so i reach over here these are the offcuts from those from these cards i plan full on using them so I will ink them up pretty like here. I was, I was playing with a, a stamp and I didn't like that, which is, I thought I had it handy right here. I was just looking at it a minute ago. I pulled this out because it's a really nice ink blot, but it's not, it's not the feel I wanted. So I'm ruling that out. So I'm just going to do, I'm just going to smoosh all of these layers and then apply them again. I'm going to put them on the A2. So you'll see these when I do the reveal and just give them a wider, um, strip of paper on the background we will see i will see what i do exactly i'm not going to make them uh shakers because it's just too much but i but i want to make up for it so again it doesn't look like okay these are second best these were also intended and they will get these um word messages on them so that's the plan for these cards guys let me know what you think um, uh, let me know who else is, I know several of you have signed up for that and that yay you, I, that, that really, really warms my heart. So I guess if I'm going to influence people, if I'm influencing for, for good, this is great. Cause this is again, guys, this is guys, something that we can do that we can help, you know, we, you know, make a, a little tiny bit of a difference, you know, me and bring a bright spot into a, a kid's life that feels like nobody cares. So that's, that's my entire team in doing this. And there is time. I believe they are still taking signups, but know that the cards have to be posted by March 31st. So I'm running out of time. I need to get cracking, but I plan on getting these all done over the weekend. So wherever I go, I mean, on Saturday, I have a wedding reception we're attending, but on Sunday, it's usually either I'm going to be staying home and working on this, or um, I'll be seeing my, spending the day with my mom. And either way, I'm taking everything with me. And she will have to sit there if she wants to converse with me. It's going to be me die cutting stuff <laughs> or putting these cards together. So thanks a lot for hanging out with me. Um, if you want, uh, if you like this or you learned a little bit something or you're like, okay, maybe if Myra braves, if she's crazy enough to brave this ink smooshing, then hey, let me know. Drop me a like, drop me a note. And if you want to see how this all plays out and if you want to see more of my madness, then subscribe and ring the bell because I will be back. I will show you what this all looks like when it's all well and done. All right. Thanks a lot, guys, for hanging out with me. I will see you on the next one. And meanwhile, don't forget, we are all a little mad here. And baby, some of us are madder than others. So come scrap the madness with me. Okay. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye.